GoPro. I did an update. It's recording. It doesn't say it's recording like it did when it made the last video. The switch I just turned on, just turned on the pump to tell it to spray basically or go through the Y drop. My first day ever wide drop and I probably got 20 acres under my belt. And it is, it's a tricky field to learn on. It's quite uneven. So when I'm going on the side hills, the one side boom, they're hitting the ground, the other side they're a mile in the air. So you end up just having to, uh, I'll get back to you guys. Hello? Oh, it's still going. Monday the 19th here after all that rain 
Uh, about a half mile south of here is where the cutoff was. They got a little rain up here, but not much. Well, not enough to not make us go, obviously. So there's an odd row. You can't see it, but there's an odd row right here. So that's why these look like they're off slightly. Sun's out, so you really can't even see. My dribbles from the line before here, kind of right there, you can see them, but basically what's what it's doing, you can see there's liquid out from behind it, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but see how they're rubbing right on the side of the corn stalk? And there's one on the other side, that comes from the other side, same thing here, same thing here, all the way across. My boom's kind of settled here as I'm sitting still for a second, but this one's just barely off the ground. You can see they're kind of off the ground in the middle, so you got to be Johnny on the spot with the controls bouncing through the field, I've noticed. Um, you put them too high and then the, you know, they just kind of, the hoses drape and they don't, you know, go where they're supposed to. So, yeah, the sun's out, so now it's hard to see my trail, but... I haven't driven corn rows since I uh, used to pick rock out of my uncle's. So that's been a you know few years. Uh, probably was 18 when I did that. It's probably been six, seven years since I drove corn rows. I haven't sprayed for their, the guy I work for now, <clears throat> ever. So it's been a good uh, refresher. Not having issues with it. It's just been it's been fun actually. So I got the 46 30. Somebody asked me what year this was. To be honest, I don't know. Where do they have the, uh, you know, corn, it's getting up there. A lot of guys say wait longer. Well then if you wait longer, look at the front axle. Just start running it down. I don't know where they got the, somebody refresh my memory on where the cereal plates are on these things. Hmm. So it's a shop and Shobbin's 1500 gallon tank. I think they're just Y Drop brand. I think that's the actual brand name. Y Drop. Get out of the light. Y Drop. So, I'm gonna keep going. I don't know how if, if my GoPro is sometimes funny, so I might have to post these in a row individually, which, sorry, but. It'll help, you know, stretch out um, my uh, material that I, so I can make it to harvest. But you can see it's a 90-foot sprayer. We only have wide drops for 45 feet of it. That's plenty. And uh, so I keep going here. Landlord, better drink that before it gets uh, warm here in the cab. So. And it's just one people, and I, uh, call, you know, in our hour, at least out here, your body can do one beer an hour. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going, and uh, maybe I'll take a video of going down the corn rolls. I'm sure somebody might like that. I'll spin it backwards, forwards, do a couple different things out here, just in case I don't. Uh, it's supposed to rain the rest of the week, and then I have to go to work Thursday. So get video while I can.